Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota and we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of the device in order to be used with a different carrier other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or different network. Now here with us today we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S9 and this is originally from T-Mobile here in the US. Now this is a device that has not been SIM unlocked yet. As we can see here in the notifications, we get the message that says that we have an invalid SIM card inserted and it tells us that it's network locked. And then if we swipe away the notification panel, we also have a pop-up message here giving us the same thing. And it tells us that it wants us to go and use T-Mobile's device unlock application that they load on the phone. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a way to be able to get this device SIM unlocked without having to go through T-Mobile or use their unlock app or meet any of the requirements for doing so. It's actually something that we're running here right now as we speak while the phone is plugged into our computer. And so just after just a second, after it restarts here, we should be able to see that it does indeed work and register on the test SIM card that we have inserted. And we also shouldn't get those network lock messages anymore. While we're waiting for that, I should mention that this is something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. As long as you have a decently powerful Windows computer and a fast internet connection, it can be performed wherever you are so you don't necessarily need to be here in our area. So you saw the T-Mobile logo show up there and the device should be fully restarted now. As we can see, we don't have that invalid SIM card message anymore in the notification panel, so that's a very good sign. We're going to go ahead and swipe that away. And now we see a message saying that the SIM card has been changed and it's asking us to restart the phone in order to use the features of the new one. So that's also a very good sign. And if I give it just another second more, there we go. The network signal has now kicked in and we should be able to see here up at top, we are registered here on Cricket, which is our test SIM that's in there. And they are a prepaid provider that runs on the AT&T network. And then of course we have our signal bars up there with our LTE symbol and everything else should be all set to go. Now, if we go ahead and jump into, nope, it won't let me go into the settings because it's gonna force me to do that restart to apply some new settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through that and then we'll show you the device information in the settings once that's done. Samsung kind of has this new feature built into the phones over the last few years where when you switch SIM cards, it can automatically change the firmware to match the SIM card that you insert. Although I don't know if Cricket sells the S9, so it might not actually apply those changes here. I just wanted to show you some of the, uh, the information in the settings so that you can see exactly what we're working with here. Oh, yep, it did change it. So now we can see the Cricket logo showing when it turns on because the phone has applied that new change. And then if we go into the settings, what I was going to show you was the model information. So we can see that we are indeed working with an S9 here with the G960U model number. That's the same for all of the US models of the S9. And then in the service provider information here under software info, those three characters down at the bottom, the AIO, AIO, TMB, that indicates more or less which carrier the device is originally from and which one it's being used with. So the last set there, the TMB, indicates that it's originally from T-Mobile and that, well, that one will always stay the same no matter who you're using it with. So if you have a T-Mobile Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, because this does apply to that phone as well, and would like to get it SIM unlocked, to go ahead and contact us because we would love to help you out with that. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find some there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.